Each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. Except for one. O Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. Ramadan. Each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. O Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. And for the book you revealed therein to guide us to the light. Inna alhamdulillah, nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nasta'gfiruhu. Wa na'udhu billahi min shururi anfusina wa min sayyati a'malina. من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمدا عبد الله ورسوله أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد Brothers and sisters in Islam زيد بن عمر بن نفيل A man who was searching for his deen And he used to talk to the disbelievers in مكة Every time they offer him food and he used to tell them a statement similar to the statement that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to tell them. He used to refuse to eat from their meat and his news was recorded in Sahih al-Bukhari in Hadith Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu anhuma. He used to tell them, Inni la aakulu min ta'amikum. I do not eat from your food. Inna shah, the sheep, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created it. وَأَنزَلَ لَهَا الْمَاءُ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ أَنزَلَ لَهَا الْمَاءَ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ And he brought down water for it from the sky. وَأَخْرَجَ لَهَا وَأَنبَتَ لَهَا الْعُشْبَ مِنَ الْأَرْضِ And brought the grass out of the earth for it to eat. And you slaughter it in the name of your idols. ثُمَّ لَا تَذْكُرُونَ اسْمَ اللَّهِ عَلَيْهَا وَكَانَ زَيْدُ بْنَ عَمْرِ يَبْحَثُ عَنْ دِينِهِ He found his way to Isham, Palestine at the time. And he met with the Jewish rabbi. And he told him, قُلْ لِي شَيْئًا عَنْ دِينِكُمْ Tell me something about your deen so that I may follow you. The Jewish rabbi told him, You will not follow us until you earn some of the anger of Allah. He said, I cannot bear the anger of Allah. وَأَنَّ لِي دُلَّنِي Give me a nasiha. The Jewish rabbi told him, كُنْ حَنِيفَا Follow the religion of Ibrahim alayhi salam. قَالَ وَمَا الْحَنِيفَ he said the religion of Ibrahim, he was not a Jew nor a Christian. Then Zayd ibn Amr ibn Nufayl, radiyallahu an, met a Christian scholar. And he asked him, قُلْ لِي شَيْئًا عَنْ دِينِكُمْ Tell me something about your deen, so I may follow it. The Christian scholar told him, you will not be able to follow us until you earn some of the anger of Allah. He said, I cannot get the anger, I cannot bear the anger of Allah. I cannot bear it. I'm fleeing from the anger of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Dullani, give me nasiha. The Christian scholar told him, be hanif, be on the religion of Ibrahim alayhi salam. He was not a Christian nor a Jew. Zayd ibn Amr ibn Nufayl, radiyallahu anh, he climbed at the top of a mountain and he raised his hand and he said, O oh Allah, bear witness, I'm worshipping you according to the religion of Ibrahim alayhi salam. Brothers and sisters in Islam, he reached the truth in the midst of darknesses, as we mentioned in the last episode. It is the true religion at the time, and this was the right deen, the deen that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam used to worship Allah according to before he was revealed to. We don't have to do this, me and you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells you that the deen is complete. We don't have to go and look around. All what we have to do, me and you, is to take and implement. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in hadith Jabir ibn Abdullah radiallahu anh, fi sahih muslim, the hadith that narrates 
his hajj, his, the lengthy hadith that talks about his hajj, at the end of the hadith, he asked the audience, the people, the companions who were performing hajj with him, Ala innakum anni. you will be asked about me, what are you going to say? They said, Allahumma nashhadu annaka ballagta wa addayta wa nasahd. You have delivered, you have conveyed the message to us. You have fulfilled and you have left us with a good nasiha. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam raised his finger, his thumb up like this and he said, Allahumma fashhad, Allahumma fashhad, Allahumma fashhad. Oh Allah, peer witness that I have delivered the whole deen. I have delivered the whole package. Now, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is testifying that the deen is complete. الْيَوْمَ أَكْمَلْتُ لَكُمْ دِينَكُمْ وَأَتْمَمْتُ عَلَيْكُمْ نِعْمَتِي وَرَضِيتُ لَكُمْ الْإِسْلَامَ دِينَ The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam confirmed this in his farewell sermon that I delivered the whole deen. Now, someone who invents in this deen, what is he saying? I'm not going to tell him my statement. I'm not going to tell him my words. I'm going to tell him the words of Malik ibn Anas, Imam Dar al-Hijrah, rahimahullah. He said, Man ibtada'a fi deeni bid'atan, whoever introduces something to this deen, and he sees it good, faqad za'ama anna Muhammadan khan al-risala. He is claiming that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has betrayed his messengership. Ya Allah, what a statement. What a statement that the Prophet وسلم, did not deliver something and you're adding to the deen. And that is why brothers and sisters in Islam, Rasul وسلم, warned, you know the little intro that I made in my episode today? Rasul وسلم, used to say this all the time. The majority of the time in his speeches, in خير الحديث كتاب الله خير الهدي هدي محمد listen to this وشر الأمور محدثاتها the worst of things are the newly invented things in the deen كل محدثة بدعة and every newly invented practice is called بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة and every بدعة is a misguidance وكل ضلالة في النار and it will be in the hellfire الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم said that من أحدث في أمرنا هذا ما ليس منه فهو رد whoever introduces something to this deen that is not part of the deen it will be rejected and the hadith of Sahih al-Bukhari and Muslim with different words hadith Aisha رضي الله عنها so if you do something that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم did not do it will be rejected it will not be accepted from you brothers and sisters in Islam Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made an issue of some people who wanted to do more from what he prescribed. I'm talking about the three individuals who came and asked about the manner of the worship of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the hadith fi sahih muslim min hadith Anas ibn Malik radiyallahu anhu. Three individuals came to the house of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asking about his manner of worship. Listen to this. فَكَأَنَّهُمُ اسْتَقَالُّهَا They thought that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was not doing enough. Ya Allah, look how shaitan can come to you. But then they felt like they overdid it. And then they said, what? You know why the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is not doing enough? لِأَنَّ اللَّهَ غَفَرَ لَهُ مَا تَقَدَّمَ مِنْ ذَنْبِهِ وَمَا تَأَخَّرَ Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forgiven all his previous and all his future sins. And this even ijtihad is wrong. What they came out with, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in hadith Mughira ibn Shu'bah, in Bukhari, in hadith Aisha radiallahu anha, he used to stand up in tahajjud until his feet are swollen. And once he's asked, why are you doing this when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgiven all your past and all your future sins? What did he say? أَفَلَا أَكُونُ عَبْدًا شَكُورًا Shouldn't I be a grateful servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? But the shahid, they decided, the three of them, decided to do th three things. One of them said, I will fast every single day and I will never break fast. Is fasting haram? No, it's actually we fast. The second one said, I will not marry women because women and children can occupy me. I want to devote all my time to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the third man, he said, 
The third person, he said, I will stand up all night long in tahajjud. I will not sleep. Look at the reaction of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Did he say, Masha Allah? No. He called the ummah to the masjid. As-salatu jami'ah. As-salatu jami'ah. Come to the masjid. And he climbed the bulbit. And he said, I have heard what those three individuals said. Wallahi, by Allah, inni la'a'lamukum billah. I am the most knowledgeable of you, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa ashaddukum lahu khashyah. And I'm the most fearful of Allah. And I fast and I break fast. And I marry women. And I sleep at night. And I pray at night. Look at this. وَتِلْكَ سُنَّتِي And this is my sunnah. فَمَنْ رَغِبَ عَنْ سُنَّتِي فَلَيْسَ مِنِّي Whoever does not follow my sunnah, he is not of me. Brothers and sisters in Islam, those three individuals, all what they wanted to do, they wanted to do more, a bit more what the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam prescribed. But the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told them, no. What about you trying to add to the deen? Brothers and sisters in Islam, they say, the scholars say, a person who invent in the deen, who acts the acts of bid'ah, is more beloved to Satan than the person who sins. Let me repeat this. A bid'ah is more beloved to Satan than a sin. Why? Because the person who commits an invention in the deen, a bid'ah in the deen, he believes in, this, in his heart that this is the religion. This is the deen. But a person who sins, maybe, you know, he sits in a lecture or maybe in khutbah al jumma and someone reminds him of Allah, and he will say, Astaghfirullah, like the man, Hadith Abi Sa'id fil Bukhari, a man who killed hundred souls. I'm not asking you to go and kill people here. No, but he killed hundred souls, and at the end, he repented, and he went to Jannah. Or the women, Al-Mar' al baghi for giving a drink to a dog. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the, 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 the women, Allah, the prostitute. Hadith Bukhari, Hadith Bukhari wa Muslim, Min Hadith Abi Huraya radiallahu anhu, and he, she given a drink to a dog, and she was forgiven. Brothers and sisters in Islam, a person who commits an innovation in the deen is someone who is troubling to the ummah, because he divides the ummah. He ends up dividing the ummah. If we all stick to the Quran and the Sunnah, but you know what? A lot of the people who commit bid'ahs, they say that we follow the Quran and the, uh, and the Sunnah. But based on the understanding of who, you ask them this question. It must be according to the understanding of the people whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are pleased with. The people whom the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam praised in his hadith. خير الناس قرني ثم الذين يلونهم ثم الذين يلونهم those are the people who you should follow their understanding of the Quran and the Sunnah. And by the way, all the Imams, Abu Hanifa, Malik, Ahmad, and Shafi'i are amongst those virtuous, blessed generation, generations of Muslims. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us amongst those who follow the Quran and the Sunnah according to the understanding of this generation of believers, the generation of the companions, and those who followed them, and those who followed them. With this, we have concluded, Ashhadu anna muhammadan rasulullah. Ramadan is your second chance. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. Except for one. Oh Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. Ramadan. Each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. Oh Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. And for the book you revealed therein to guide us to the light. To the light. By your grace you sent us this Quran.